May 28. Night and morning. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Psalm 35. The night of doubt the morning of faith. It is indeed a memorable moment in the history of the human spirit, when we suddenly wake up to see that the Almighty is the all-loving Father, that the righteousness of God is no longer a ground of anxiety and fear, but of assured hope, that He has no pleasure in the death of a sinner, but rather that He should turn from His wickedness and live. What a glad hour it was to Thomas when, after a week of the blackness of darkness, he stood again face to face with Jesus, and learned that his heart was beating in sympathy, and that his pierced hands were held out to him. Dare to believe that the love which died for thee is dealing with all the mysteries, misfits, and dark problems of thy life. Weeping may tarry for the night in which you shut yourself in with yourself, but she is only a lodger. Joy will come in the morning, when you open your heart to Christ. The night of perplexity the morning of vision. We cannot explain all the dealings of God with man, still less the mysteries of the divine nature. Clouds and darkness are round about him, though judgment and righteousness are the habitation of his throne. But from time to time we obtain some broken vision of his purpose and achievement and objective. Then the voice of joy rings through our heart, then our mouths are filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Men call us dreamers, but we count them blind. Sooner or later Christ will come. The power of Satan will be broken and his reign ended. The things that prophets and kings foretold, and died without seeing, shall be realized. The children of light will lift up their heads, because the time of redemption will have come. Sorrow and sighing will flee away, and in that glad morning there will be the shout of joy. The night of bereavement the morning of reunion. Their stay with us was all too short. We had only begun to fathom their sweetness and beauty. We little dreamed that we would only be allowed to sip the cup of bliss that they had brought into our lives. And then they heard a voice that called, and saw a beckoning hand, and they arose and went. E, that height of weeping. But the morning of joy cometh, when we shall see again their radiant faces welcoming us on the other side. In that fair morning, joy will be at the full tide, never to recede. Prayer Blessed Christ The storm is high, the night is dark. Come to me, I beseech thee. In thy presence is fullness of joy. Amen.